Hello, you developers. Part two of the theme integration. Uh, let's start from where we left off last time. So I actually got all the CSS and the JavaScript files and linked them all up. I got the plugins as well. So all are there in our my in my directories as well. So JS dashboard.js is there. All that is there. So now all that information is in the dashboard dot dashboard asset dot PHP file. So I have to change the class name here, dashboard, asset and save and check. Mm, nothing changed, I think. So when I refresh, this is using the app asset. So I have changed it to dashboard, dashboard asset. So let's do dashboard asset and save and check okay things changed we got this the next thing we have to do is we have to integrate our navbar that is the main thing so let me open up first let's integrate this part the navbar so i'm going to remove the original navbar that was in uh year two application that is this Okay, remove that. We don't want these two as well. So remove that. And let's copy and paste the head section. Okay, go to index.html. And as you can see, there is a body class of skin blue side mini. So let's add that to our body class. And we have a wrapper div. So we have that. Oops. So we have a wrapper wrap tip as well. So let's replace that with this. And next is our header, which will have all the header items. So this is going to be the main navbar. Copy the header section into our application. Okay. So that is done. Let's refresh and see what we have. As you can see, we have our mm, we have our navbar that is similar to this. Um, next is uh, as you can see, we don't have the images. Uh, these images should be in. Uh, we have DST DST image. Okay, so we can get those as well. Um, go to DST image copy actually we have to copy this whole thing because it's in the DST uh, folder first so the link is made to DST DIST image user so we have to copy the same thing so copy this to our web folder and of course we don't want these two we have already linked them and we will have our images there we have our images okay so that is the first part now we can int we have to integrate the sidebar which is this so sidebar is pretty simple after the header section they have properly mentioned this Get the side main sidebar and paste that in. And refresh. We have the sidebar, of course. Next, um, we have the content wrapper and we have the breadcrumbs. We have a dashboard, the header of the dashboard, and we have a section called main content, which is the section content, which has all the content. So we have to copy this content wrapper and this section. And of course, well, let's all copy this as well, which is called section content. Copy that in. That is going to replace our this section. So all of the content is going to be loaded into this section, the section content. 
Okay, so this is how we are going to load that. We're going to echo out the content variable. So let's complete um, where does this div tag end? Let's forget about the footer for now. I mean, let's forget about that for now. So let's check out where this uh, div ends. Okay, so that's a wrapper div. Uh, so, Napa header aside, sidebar, and the content wrapper. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, we got what we need. Um, now all the layouts are done. So as you can see, the nav bar is working properly. The drop zones are working properly. Only thing you have to do is, um, since if you want a dashboard that looks like this, just copy and paste the index.html, um, index.html's uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, just copy the whole content that is being that is within the section content class and put it into your views uh, site index.php file. I'm not going to do that because I don't want the dashboard. I just want it to look like this. So I will next time is of course you can change the links and do what you want with it. Uh, so actually we didn't integrate this part I can leave it up to you right now because I have explained how to do it so this has this nice slider there so of course that is also available for us um, that is being done using another sidebar so here's the footer after the footer you had to put a side control sidebar which is this so I'm going to leave it up to you to do it because I necessarily don't want it. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you can now integrate the admin LTE theme for yourself. I mean, really, uh, we should thank Amside Studio for this. Uh, so thank him for that. And it's totally free. If you guys can donate, please donate. Uh, it will help him. And that's the right thing to do. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, I think this has been a lesson that you have uh, everyone was asking for a long time so i think it helped uh, i think i helped uh, if you have any questions do uh, drop me a comment uh, join the group the group of doing it is web developers on facebook and follow me on twitter at utpala419 so hope to see you guys next time do subscribe and fun developing with you take care bye